rough down here. This ain't no joke down here. This is real. Trust me. See, I'm at the roundhouse. This is what they call the roundhouse. You don't know what the roundhouse is? See, that's what they bring all the diesel engines, all the big freight engines, all the big train engines to be refurbished and refitted. They bring them in on one track from east, north, west, south, every point on the compass. They be coming into the roundhouse to get refurbished so they can go out and make another 200,000 miles on them tracks. We at the roundhouse now. Some of us gonna be refurbished and get back out there. For some of us, this the last stop, see? This the last goddamn stop, boy. At the roundhouse now, there's a cause for the weather being the way it is. Any fool can see that is all the signs is in the books. See? Tsunamis. But God gave no the rainbow sign. No more water. The fire next time. Starters, you just uh, ran a stop sign. And if that's not enough, you were speeding through a school zone. Okay, so I'm guilty. Can I see your driver's license and registration? Kim Stallworth. Detective Kim Stallworth. I'm with the LAPD. If you don't mind, just give me the ticket and I'll be on my way. What division are you assigned to? North Hollywood. Oh, really? So are you and your husband attending the uh, police ball this year? No, I'm not married. Neither am I. Listen, if you consider going with me, maybe I can uh, do something about this. I don't think so. Is that a no? You'll think about it, maybe? Stallworth. I want you to know I didn't lay a single finger on your daughter. I just came by here to talk to her, take a quick shower. I don't want to leave any trouble for Tracy, okay? Look, I'm in a situation right now where I'm living on the back streets of LA. And Tracy, she's the only friend that I have. Come on, please, let me explain. Shut the hell up, Tracy. Me, whatever your name is, get your clothes on, get your ass out of my house. The next time I see you, I will throw you in jail. Do you understand me? Yes, I understand, and my name is Carlos, by the way. I thought you said you were going to be gone before she got here. It was you who said she was working a double shift, eh? Okay, okay, I made a mistake.
Carlos, I feel your eyes burning a hole through my butt. We're friends and only friends, and that's it. Tracy, you'd know it'd be so untrue if I said I never thought about you like that. And besides, maybe one day I'll get really, really lucky and you'll grant me permission to take you to that special place where, as they say, we become much more than just friends. Just hurry up and get out of here. Hey, how old is your mom anyway? So you better hurry up, or your mom just might steal me away. Cut the crap, Carlos. My mom is 43 years old. She don't mess around with little kids like you. And so get get dressed, get out of here before you get us both in trouble. Look, I just um, wanted to apologize for any inconvenience I might have caused you. I'm Joe Garcia. Kim Stoltman. Um, I don't know why this is happening to me. I try to be a good mom. I really do. I no, really it was do. my fault. I was no, just no, trying to be a no. smart ass. My daughter, she ran away and um, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. Do you have any idea where she might have gone? Or? No. Well, um, look, I mean, if you like, I can help you look for her. I mean, I know some people that could help us out. Okay. Yeah? I'm gonna grab my cars. Okay, great. Well, I'll wait for you in the car. Cool. seen her before. My mind ain't too clear right now. How about now? Oh, you know what? My mind just got crystal clear. Not only have I seen that girl, but I seen that girl this morning. And you know what? She's with some Latino guy. I saw her this morning hanging out with this guy named Carlos. Do you know what this guy Carlos lives? Uh, my mind is not clear right now. Your mind is going to be clearing fast in the jail if you don't tell me where this guy lives. I'm not playing on silly games, you see? Tim, I got it. <laughs> see what we're dealing with? Have you seen him? Uh, you know what? Yeah. He lives like Broadway, 7th, 7th Broadway, like somewhere. He lives in the streets. But you can find him downtown. Carlos, you can find him downtown. Okay? Okay, okay J-Lo? Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm Thank you. Hey, 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 listen, listen, listen. They got a special going on at Haven Burgers. You buy two and you get one free. So, you know, buy two, get one free, get it, you know, come on. You just took me for 10 already. But you told me, Mr. Garcia, that I always got to look out for tomorrow. You always told me that. Come on, Officer Garcia. Look out for tomorrow. Did you tell me that? So, what's up? Come on, hey, listen, do me a favor. If you give me a loan, come on, you told me it's got a charm, man. I meant to say now pop them bottles. bottles She's America's next top model This girl looks so good Met her in Hollywood And she move her out like the mother Hold her together for me Wild child No problem 
So ladies, Del kicked you out of the house, huh? Mm. Yeah. Well, I think you guys are gonna enjoy it much better over here. Yeah. Why don't you guys go down to the pool, mm -hmm. mingle with the other girls, have a good time. Maybe we'll get Greek going. <laughs> <laughs> have a good time, ladies. Thank Tell me where she is. Carlos has something he'd like to share with you. But please, listen, stay calm, and keep an open mind, all right? This may be our only chance of getting Tracy back. So, Carlos, are you going to speak today or tomorrow? Hmm? Habla, Carlos. So. Well, Miss Stallworth, I kind of feel like most of this is my fault. You see, Tracy went downtown looking for me the other night. She told me earlier she was going to go out and look for a job so she could finally get a spot of her own. You see, there's this van. It comes downtown late at night, sometimes early in the morning. I was told someone fit in Tracy's description may have gotten onto this van with two, three, maybe four other people. The guy that told me this, he's seen me kicking it with Tracy a few times, but he can't be absolutely sure that it was her because he only got one glimpse of her before the people got onto the van this morning. Yeah. Check that out, bro. Damn, look at that ass, bro. What do you think? She's got the banana boat or something? Damn. Go off her some strawberries and see if she needs any more. Oh, nah, nah, nah. She's too bad, homie. Bottom ass bitches, man. Oh, man. No, man, that's what we're here for, man. Well, that bottom would look pretty good standing up, brother. Come on, <laughs> come, come on, shit. man. You're just thinking about your dick, homie. Please. Hey, well, bro, come on, please. Just, 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 just,
She looks like a fighter, man. Give me a bottom ass bitch. Give me, give me something easy, man. Somebody that eats strawberries out of my hand. Come on, man. Let's make it easy. This strawberry shit out the window, bro. Look, I'm gonna tell you something, okay? I'm gonna get her. When I'm fucking up in that ass, I'm be knocking the door saying you want some. You that? It won't be that easy, brother. I think it's worth a fight. It's gonna be a problem. Shut the fuck up. Oh, shut that bitch up. You fuck with the wrong girl. Told you. What'd you say? You fuck with the wrong girl. Come on, man. That was a fucking body shot. I'll hit you again in the body. You hear me, buddy? Let's go! Let's go! Did he say anything about the license plate or the driver? Anything? No driver's license numbers, nothing like that. But you know, the driver, he carries a cane and he walks with a serious limp. So I'm getting a morning paper. You can see him from a mile away. Now the thing is, no one has ever seen again after they get into the van. And the detective that was investigating the case has since retired. This is a women. You're telling me that people are getting in this van on the pretense of going to work and they never return and nobody gives a damn or cares to investigate it? Hm? You're a cop! How long have you known about this? I just found out all the details until after I spoke with Carlos. I mean, the case was first reported to your division. Maybe you can dig up the files and get some more information. Okay. I'm gonna get dressed. I'm gonna go into the office and see what I can do. Go, go and find out what you can about the van, where they're taking these people. I need to find my daughter. Listen, Kim. I can only imagine what you're going through. But you can't tell anybody in your department, nor mine, that we'll get into this. What? Are you crazy? My daughter's life's at stake and we need help. I understand that, okay? But you have to trust me. I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it, but I got a feeling that there's something else to this. Oh, you're damn right there. They have my daughter. Listen, we're gonna go ahead and go, all right? Just make sure you don't say anything to anybody. Okay, I'll call you in a couple of hours. What? like in mine. From now on, you can call me Stick. Now hurry up. Move it. Come on, move it. Move it. Move it. Hurry up. Can I ask you a question? What? What are you going to do with the rest of the girls? Shut up, bitch. Move. Looking at. I didn't mean it, boss. Pick that bag up. Get up. Come on. What you gonna be looking at next time, bro? I got news for her. She thinks she's gonna come here around this house. Okay, stick. I'll take her the rest of the way. Tracy. Now, don't be afraid. You're, you're gonna be fine. Professor, did you get that mail we sent you? We sent you a letter last week. That was coming today. I never received any letter from your office. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we brought our supervisor today, and uh, you're going to have to have a little chat with her. 
You guys don't think you've done enough? We're doing our job, Fressa. You brought this on yourself. I have not brought anything on myself. Don't tell me to calm down. That everything you say and everything you do brings us to this very day right now. Now back up. We are coming in. Step back, Fressa. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. It's up to you. Fressa, you know the drill. We have to talk to her alone. Fine. Wait a minute. What's the bag for? Don't even think about putting your hands on my little angel. Once upon a time, the little girl ran away from home. Then these bad guys found her, took her to a very bad castle. Then the little man hooked little girls there. Then she begged, please let me go. Then she was crying and crying for her family. Then she was going downstairs and tied to the bed and then wouldn't let her go. This is a very bad castle. And, and this is a very bad man here. And this little girl needs help. The end. Yeah, this may sound a little crazy, but there might be something in that story she just told us. Stranger things have happened. Hey, Angel, where'd you get that story? Did you make that up? You have a really great imagination. You didn't make it up. Where'd you hear it? I got it from my mommy's sleep. I had a dream about it. So you heard your mommy say it, or you dreamt about it in your own sleep? But it wasn't in your sleep, but I, but she, but it was in your sleep. It was? I see. So you dreamt all that? Hmm. Sounds pretty true to me. That makes sense, right? It's a beautiful story. Let them do the little dog and pony show. I don't know why they show up We don't this. need the cops up here. Calm hey. down. They're not taking anyone. Everything's gonna be fine. They're gonna do the same thing they do every fucking time they come up here. They're gonna talk to the kid and they're gonna fucking leave, okay? You're a good coach. We're taking her with us. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll have to go tell their mother. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. We're gonna take a little trip, Angel, okay? She knows what to say to keep her mom and her alive. You understand what I'm saying? Okay? Because it's up to me, we could kill your ass a long time ago. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to take Angel with us. No! Come you're on. not gonna take my baby! Take, take the side Don't door! You take take my the side baby. door! The door will let Angel! you out! Come with Angel! Me. No! No! Don't take my baby! Angel, run to me! Please! Run to mommy! No, 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 that's alright. Oh, no, 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 no. It'll be alright. Come on, come on. It's alright. Come on, we're going on a trip. You're worried about your damn no. self. No. Fuck your kid now. She's gone. Looked like you was enjoying it. <laughs> I was tearing him up. I tell you. Up. Well, I tell you, we done seen it all. I mean, that boy down here looking for that woman that got snatched. Wow. She ain't the first one got snatched. Shit, I seen them all over the milk cartons. They've been snatching people. Okay, okay. They've been snatching people. I was around when they snatched a Lindbergh baby. <laughs> all right. Everybody thought that was a big deal. Snatch him was in the papers for a hot minute. Yeah, they snatched a Lindbergh, baby. They snatched Helen and Troy back in the day. Two nations went to war about that snatch. Well, I tell you, kidnappers is a big dog, boy. They take the most prized possession. They leave you a Ferrari. They leave you a but they snatch your child. That's cold-blooded. I was around when they snatched the whole nation. Snatched the people, snatched the culture, the language, snatched everything. Bottom over here, sold them on the corner like used tires. I see all of it. I've been seeing it for a long time. Long time. I've been seeing all of it. Yeah, 
wrong with you, huh? Man, come here, man. Wait, hold up, hold up. Wait, what the hell you want, man? I told you don't bother me up here, man. It's not what I want. It's what Mr. Harrison wants. He wants to know what's taking you so fucking long to give the new girl her orders. Hey, man, I had to show everything twice. She all nervous and confused and shit. Your socks on the floor, your shirt's on backwards. You know, Mr. Harrison gave strict orders that no one was supposed to touch this fucking girl. Why? It's personal. Don't question the boss. You know he's got paperwork on everybody he brings up here. Maybe there's something in the paperwork that makes this little bitch special. Maybe Fressa knows. I don't know. But what I do know is when the boss finds out about you and Miss Special, it's gonna be your ass. The hell finds out, huh? So what's it worth to you, man? What's it worth to you? Yeah, what's it worth to you? How about some of that little white powder that only you have to- Man, that's in Mr. Harrison's office, man. That's his shit. I ain't got the key to that shit. That's for only the, 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 the guests, that ain't for the staff. You know that. Fresser will be here in five minutes for Tracy. And um, you can consider me guests. Or maybe I'll consider having a little conversation with the boss about you and Miss Special. Oh. Capiche? You know, that's dry snitching, man. You know that, right? Young man uh, sat on the corner and cried. Big man come and ask him why. Young boy say, I can't do what the big boys do. Old man sat down and he cried too. What you crying about? It ain't that bad. Hey, boy. Oh, man, get up from now. Come here. It must be real bad. What happened? <laughs> they did what? This is the only print I had. They took her? <laughs> oh, the body snatchers got her, huh? She ain't the first one. They've been snatching people. That'd be your girlfriend. Last time you seen her, she getting in a white van, wasn't she? Uh-huh. I seen I had eyes on it. I had eyes on it. If I didn't, the angels did. You know you at the roundhouse now, son. You know that? You know what the roundhouse is, boy? Listen up here. This is where all the engines come from all over the world on one big train track. They're coming from every point on the compass, north, south, east, west, southeast, northwest. Every train that's ever been out there got to come back to the roundhouse to get refurbished to see if it's going to go on another 200,000 miles. A little more life, if you would. You at the roundhouse, son. You at the roundhouse. The engineer might drive the train, but the conductor, the angels, are the ones that are conducting the train. You understand what I'm saying? Don't nobody get on or get off to the angels say. You ain't been listening, son. They've been talking to you, trying to turn you away from this direction you headed. But you got a made up mind. Hard head make a soft behind. You ever heard that? It's a fact, son. I seen it. I seen all the big snatches through all the history. All the big capers. <laughs> yeah. Nazi war criminals, they snatched their ass and brought them to justice. Them boys over there in Iraq and Iran, they snatched them. The Taliban got them too. Brought them to justice. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about your girlfriend. She's going to show up. I got eyes on it. Angels told me she gonna show up. So let that go. Hmm. Rule number one, you don't speak when you ain't told to speak. Rule number two, you appreciate what you've been given. What the hell do you mean, what I've been given? Rule number one. You know who I am? Yes, I know who you are. You're that man in the TV commercial, Mr. Strawberry Man? No, I'm the man that turn around. It's the most powerful person out here. I make things happen. I make people rich. I make people famous. 
also give people jobs in the city. Okay, you tell me, Mr. Job Creator. What are you doing for all those poor homeless people that are working out there in your strawberry fields in that hot sun? How much are you paying them? You don't disrespect me. No, leave it right there. She gonna stay here with me tonight. No, just leave it right there. Don't do this to me. You said you would never hurt me. You're sexually touching another girl. I asked you one more time to get out of here. Detective Lane. Yes, sir. Right away. I'm gonna need that file on Willie Gibson. Captain Serial here. It's your last day to get tickets for the police in this ball. Right away. I got it. Hey, Kim. What's up? I haven't seen you much since you made detective. So, when are you gonna invite me over for dinner? How's Tracy? Can we go downstairs to the file room and talk? Yeah, sure, but why downstairs in the file room? I'll explain when we get there. Can we hurry, please? There was um, a detective by the name of Susan Martinez, and she requested to work on a complaint that was filed by some parents of homeless people who were missing. Did she ever mention that file to you? I used to know a lot about the files that she handled, but as time passed, new stuff came in. and There was something about this particular file that kind of bothered me. What was that? Well, Susan, she really wanted this case due to some information that she had received from people on the streets. And I guess that she thought that she could solve the mystery surrounding it. I understand that um, you would stay late and help her down here. And um, do you think you could pull that file for me? I'd do anything for you. I think you know that. Let's just stick to the missing file, shall we? I got to go to Beverly Hills this evening. And I got to visit my business partner, him and his wife. And I want to take you with me. Well, what are we going to do over there? Well, she like young women. And um, I'm quite sure she'll be very fond of you. You know, give me your arm. Well, I'm sure I'll enjoy myself. But right now, I have a really, really bad headache. Do you think I can go later? I'm going to take you over to the office. I'm going to give you a pill. And um, we'll see what happens. But right now, I'm gonna handcuff you and you get dressed. Okay. some pills for your headache. Drink this water. Hello? Yeah, Dale, it's me. Look here, man. I hope you're sitting down. Our boy took a fall. Spencer, he gone, man. What happened, man? Yeah, the chick dropped a dime on him. You got to be fucking kidding me, man. I'll tell you about it when I see you face to face, you know what I mean? But I'm giving you a heads up. Keep your distance, brother, because he puking up his guts. No shit. I've been sitting here handling this shit with this uh, broad here, man. Give me problems all day. 
Yeah, I'm going to uh, get rid of her right quick, man. I'll be on my way as quick as possible. Yeah, I'm out. I'm about to catch my plane right now. Get in, man. Hey, Tracy, you can come back in now. Unfortunately, I got some other business I got to tend to, so, you know, I'm gonna get back with you a little bit later on. You know, I'm gonna send you out there with Faressa, and y'all get together and go hang out with the other girls. Good morning, Charles. Good morning, sir. It's a lovely day, isn't it? Indeed it is. Now get your black ass on in the car. Let's go. <laughs> Dell found out that the new girl, her mom's a cop. So we're going to send her back to you where you can deal with her. I need to get her down into the dungeon. Everything hot in yourself. Please huh? take the mask off, please. I can't breathe in here. Everything's gonna be okay. It's just an African woman. Ah, hey, hey. It's an African woman. I can't, I can't wear this mask because it makes me sweat a lot. But you got nothing to worry about. Tessa! What do you want? Come on down here. You know I don't like coming fucking down there. Just come down here. Why don't you tell me what it is that you want, and maybe I can just give it to you. Well, you know what I want. But I need you to do something else. I need you to break this bitch. What's wrong, big boy? You can't break her yourself. What do you mean by that? I know it's a job for a woman. Well, you're saying a, a man can't do this. You do that. I'll take care of it. Tracy, I need you to drink some water. Take care of you. <laughs> Let's take this off so I can see your face. <sighs> Look at me. You gotta play the game, girl. If you wanna survive and get the fuck out of here, do what I tell you. Play the game. What's going on down there? Everything's fine. If you want me to do this, I gotta have the time. Why are you fake fucking, all right? Get your fucking head off! Is this how you treat the mother of your child? I'm gonna show you how to drop your dick. Tell me where our daughter is. If you don't tell me, I'll fucking kill you. Sunnyside daycare on Pine Street. 
Put it down. Put it down. I got the number for the license plates for the van. Take a look in there. Take a look. Coffee? Yep. Great. Well, I'm gonna run this plate, see what comes back to her, right? Just give me a minute. Got it. You'll never guess who the bank belongs to. I'm not in the mood for guessing, okay? Just cut to the chase. Tell me. Dale Harrison himself. Dale Harrison. Yeah. The strange thing is, his name is never mentioned anywhere in this report. Dale Harrison is one of the richest men in the world. He can't be connected to this. Maybe it was an employee. I mean, this guy has judges, lawyers, doctors, high-ranking bank officials in the palm of his hand, but yet I can't see the connection. It doesn't make sense. I'll tell you what makes sense. We arrest the driver. He tells us where he took Tracy Simple's at. Kim, I told you I'm in this all the way with you, but if Dale Harrison is involved, it's not going to be that easy. I do not give a fat rat ass who's involved. I want my daughter back. Look, it's going to be okay, all right? I promise. It's going to be okay. I'm going to tell the chief. I'm going to tell him I need to open this case. I need to reopen the case. I want you to go and find out what you can about Susan Martinez. Kim, have you heard anything that I've said? You can't trust anybody in your department. You can only trust me. If we work together, maybe we can find Tracy. The first thing is, we gotta find out where she is. Officer Swanson, do I have any messages? Yeah, you got uh, one from Officer Joe Garcia and the other um, from your daughter. My daughter? Are you sure? What did she say? I mean, did she leave a number? Slow down, all right? I'm, I'm not 100% sure it was her. Well, what did she say? I think she said, may I speak to mommy? Or was it mom? Wait, and then she whispered and said your name. I'm sorry. Sorry. Is Tracy okay? It's my thought strike, man. Chief, I really need to talk to you. What can I do for you, detective? My daughter is missing. And I have a strong suspicion that it may be connected to a case that a Susan Martinez was working on and then suddenly closed. I need your permission to reopen the case, sir. Now you wait a minute right there, young lady. First of all, if your daughter is missing, you follow procedures. You file a report, you wait 72 hours, then you act on it. The case that Martinez was working on was closed due to lack of evidence. You will assign a special assistant to help you find your daughter. But the file on that case is closed. It's gonna stay closed! Understood? Yes, sir, perfectly well, sir. By the way, where do you get your information from, Stallworth? I didn't know it was a private matter. Answer me! I heard loose talk here and there.
So. Your best friend died or something? Honey, I'm right here. You can talk to me. Can I get you something to drink? Please. I get it up. Okay. There you go. Hey, hey, not so fast. There's more where that came from. I should have told you earlier, but um, I didn't want to burden you with my problems. Your problems? Your problems are my problems, okay? I'm here, so just talk to me. Tracy ran away from home. And um, with the help of another detective, for Joe Garcia, I believe I can find her. She was last seen getting into a van in downtown LA. Is that the reason you wanted the file? You think it's something to do with Tracy? I, I don't think so. I know so. After talking to the chief. Jesus, Kim. What did he say? No, 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 no. He does not know about the file, oh. okay? It's not what he said, it's what he didn't say that made me convinced. Joel told me not to go, and I, like a fool, I went and. Oh. I need to make a plan. Are you in? Kim's daughter with crazy? Of course I'm in. Come in your job. Come in your life. I don't scare so easy. America! We're the greatest thing in the world, America. Every man can have an education, a life, a job, a hope, a dream. Hey, look, I don't think that van is coming. Besides, I don't think this is a good idea. Okay, why not? We all agreed on it. Dressing up as the homeless is one thing, but getting into that van is stupid. If that van comes, I'm getting there. I do not care. I'm happy for you. I'm glad you gave me all your help. I ain't getting in that van, okay? Yeah, no. Yeah, and then what? Yeah. And then, I don't know, you and some cops, you come in and, and you know, you arrest them. Simple as that. All right. Mm -hmm. And not be executed in the street. Alright, well I'll make some phone calls, alright? But for now I think we should just call it a day. You need a shower and you stink. And if it goes to the bottom, we take it to the top. Que linda. So abstract. Tu sabes que alguien me ha dicho, sometimes you reach for the stars, and instead you get la luna. Other times you reach for the stars and smack into the sky. Girls, 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 girls! Time to eat. 
She looks hungry. No. She looks hungry. I want you to eat the strawberries. Eat. Not one at a time, a handful. Come on, eat the strawberries. Funny trick to this. If she doesn't finish the strawberries, I finish the bitch. How about that? No, please don't. Finish the strawberries. Are you having fun? Are you having fun? Because I don't think we're having fun. Because I'm not fucking having fun. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Simon Says. You get three chances. First chance, I won't shoot. The second time she gets it wrong, I won't shoot. The third time, eh. come on, baby. There you go. She's good. <gasps> She's not that good. Try it again, try it again. Come on, come on. She's not that good. She's not that good. That's two. It's not her fault. It's broken. You got one more chance, baby. There you go. Simon says. Simon says. Simon says you're dead. Tell me, baby, are you gonna behave now? I need you to entertain our guest. What do you want me to do? I don't act stupid. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You see, I'm gonna make you my whore and I'm gonna sell that sweet pussy of yours that I want so bad. Doing shit for you. Play hard again. Is that what it is? Is that how you're gonna play? Hard to get. I'm gonna show you what I do to my girls. They miss me leave. <laughs> I'll be Look, Tracy, the big boss wants me to clean you up, take you over to the big house. They're gonna be having a party, fresh meat. Let's go get you a jacuzzi bath, some bath salts. It'll make a world of difference.
You ever hear a Russian roulette? <laughs> Russian roulette. No. I call mine's Mexican roulette. Now, ladies first. My turn. <laughs> it didn't go off. Okay, it's my turn. Live or die! Ah! Stallworth. Just want to know if there was any, uh, progress with your daughter. No. Well, I just want you to know. We're all pulling for her. Captain Stallworth. This is Joyce. Things are really gonna be hot out here. Where are you calling from? I swiped Miss Lily's cell phone. She's outside talking to Stick. Excuse me, Mom. Bob. Is there anything else? No. Uh, you can wait. Look, don't call me here anymore. Too many years, you know what I mean? Okay, I won't, but Kim, there's a guest list that you wouldn't believe. They brought in five more girls and they're all under 18. Okay, I'll try to call you before the party. You need to get your shit together. You do not want to end up here forever like me. They will kill you. How? The strawberry fields right out in front. When they take girls back there, they do not return. Can I please call my mom and say something? Do you not have time to call your mom right now. I promise you, once you're safe, I will call your mom and let her know. She's gonna worry. She needs to know that I'm okay. Are you insane? What are you doing? You're trying to get us both killed? I just want to talk to her. Hey. Hey. 
showtime. Today's the big day. And we're gonna be with Jones and these guys at around 3 a.m. That's how they hit them off. We'll be 4 a.m. Now there's gonna be people inside, but they're not gonna be on. Half of them are gonna be drunk anyway, so everything should go according to plan. What about the guards? Person tells me there's only two guards working on Saturday night, and just our inside lady. She tells me she's gonna keep you so busy they won't know if it's night or day, rain or shine. <laughs> I volunteer to go into the guard shack first. Watch it, buddy. Yeah. Like catching his pants down. How you doing, boy? Everything looking good tonight? Oh, Hello, beautiful. Hello. I haven't seen you here before. What's your name? My name is T. My name's Benny. Hi, Benny. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Want to go for a dance, Miss T? Sure. Hello, Benny. Oh, how you been, Sally? Life is great. Would uh, you and your pretty little dance partner like to have a threesome? See, I'm celebrating my 41st birthday. I'm ready to go home. Sounds like a plan. Great. I'm going to go upstairs, get the room ready. Room number 9 and 10. I'm going to hurry up. There's a fire. Hey, T. That judge is pretty wild, huh? We're going to have a good time with her. I'm going to talk to you real quick. I'll be right back. Stay quick. Don't move. Hey, Georgie. Hey, beautiful. So are you ready for that drink? Yes, please. Anything to come down my lips. Oh, you're new at this. Well, it'll be all right. Let's go, it's showtime. We can't keep the judge waiting here. Hello? Nisha, for us. Hey, look, I need the new girl, Tracy. I need you to bring her back to me early. I need to get her down into the dungeon. Okay, just better. Damn, Benny, why are you knocking? Get the hell in here. Damn, Sally. I never knew you were so fine. Hey, sweetheart. Come sit here. I'm giving you 20 years to life. <laughs> <sighs> well, this is getting better all the time. Please, ladies, come on in. Join the party. We're all going to hell in a basket, but at least I'm enjoying the ride. I'm so sorry to interrupt, but I have special orders from Mr. Harrison to leave this girl and bring tea back with me. What? She's got to sign papers before she can entertain. Better never happen again, or I am taking my business elsewhere. I'll make sure I tell Mr. Harrison, Your Honor. On my ass, 
get the hell out. Going hard on her. Why don't you do something nice? Take her some dinner. Maybe I will. Don't be afraid, Mama. We're gonna get along just fine. You see, I have a passion for everything beautiful. Shape, form. And you, uh, you got a great future behind you. I brought you some dinner, and I suggest you eat because it's gonna be a big night. They tell me you're going to the big house. Why are you helping me? Because you remind me of me when I was first brought here. It's too late for me. I can't change the past. But I can do right by you. The only way out is through. Follow the light. Come with me. Can't let have things I gotta finish here. Get out! The 
The cops are coming. Mm -hmm. DA, I don't have time for this shit. I got eyes on the guest house. Do you hear me stand down? All units are going to the main estate. All units are going to the main estate. Wait for backup. CR, do you copy? I see some activity. under arrest for the solicitation of minors. Get your asses on. Let's go. Get up. Oh! Because you got a lot of explaining to do. Move. Let's go. I'm charging you with the attempted murder of Tracy Stallworth. Who gonna prove that? There's pressing word against mine. And you ain't got enough evidence to hold me past 72 hours, and you know that. And when I get out, and I'm gonna get out. If Tracy ain't dead, that hoe will be. Believe it, you know what I'm saying? And you ain't gonna be able to prove that shit either. So fuck both of y'all. What, what, you gonna shoot me? What happened? Let's get the hell out of here. The big mansion? In the Casa Grande? What happened? Oh, a bunch of hoochie mamas, they got busted. A bunch of cops everywhere. Yeah? yeah. What happened? They had the booty shorts, they were showing the nalgas, everything. No manches. Ay, que feo. Que porqueria. Yeah. Can you imagine if the kids were here? And that would have been, been horrible. Ah! Oh my god. 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 Oh my
Come here. Come here. Come here. Está muerta, ¿qué pasó? Oh my god, Mia. Look. Strawberry water. Kim, she's in a coma. We didn't find any ID on her, but from what I understand, she fits in on Trace's description. Do you know where they've taken her? Yes, it's called Riverside General. It's about 45 minutes from here. I know exactly where it is, okay? I'll be with you in 10, okay? Okay, I'll see you at my apartment. Honey, I don't think she's coming today. Give me this, let's go back inside with everything. Get your bunny. Looking to see if anything was lost. Am I any lost? You? No, you are a long way from being lost. You're right where you need to be. Just where you need to be. You just keep on doing what you've been doing. And everything that you think has been lost will be found. Oh, okay. Well, let's go find it, everybody. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Do you have this girl in this ward? Um, I was told that a young lady in a coma from a gunshot wound was brought in. Oh, yeah, okay, um, they just moved her down the hall. Okay, the great. Ride. Thank you. We're all cops. No, okay. Thank you. Um, Thank you. 
Russell. Hi. We've been waiting for you. We've been waiting for you too, little angel. Here you go. Big smile. Kisses. Bye bye. Take care, Russell. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye, baby. Oh, sweetheart, there is no more to be worried about. There is no more bad men in those strawberry fields. Remember, you're an angel. You run, you fly. Angels conquer all. Ain't fly like 